Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your What's New in Love reading for the week of Friday, July 30th, 2021 to August 6th, 2021. I want to apologize for my delay and my inconsistency moving about a thousand miles from where I currently am and I found the one place that does not have internet or cellular service. Well, at least it's spotty and inconsistent. So I apologize. I'm doing my best. Please bear with me, Capricorn, and thank you. So since that one came out while I was talking, we're going to leave that. That's one of the questions, the answers to one of the questions you get to ask at the end of the reading. And we're going to get you one more right now. So Capricorn, you'll have two questions that will be answered. Let's move to the Romance Angels for what's new in love for Capricorn. What's new in love for Capricorn? What's new in love Ooh, for Capricorn? Okay, what's new in love for Capricorn? Okay. You deserve love. You are lovable. Oh. <sighs> we don't all realize this, huh? Let's see here. You deserve love. Tell us more for Capricorn about what's new in love. Give us some more information. What's new in love for Capricorn? Okay. What's new in love and Capricorn? The sun. <laughs> Wow, that's huge. Look at his arms. This is all that wonderful stuff. This is abundance. This is love. This is success. This is all those awesome things that we all want, you know. By the light of the sun, we can see clearly, you know. You can, everything makes sense. You know, the world comes to life. But, so what's new is that you have to realize that you deserve love. And when you do... It all comes together. I feel like I could I could end the reading there and it would feel wonderful. But we're going to get you some more information. Let's see here. Tell us more about what's new. Tell us more about what's new for Capricorn. What's new for Capricorn? Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles traditionally is, you know, you've planted the seeds, now you're waiting. You know, you're waiting to see what comes up because you've already put in the work, you know, or are you putting the work, you know, but now you're just looking and you're seeing what you've done. So to me, this says that you have been changing or, or you will be working on how you're seeing yourself and seeing yourself as abundant and happy and being able to uh, take those rewards in, you know. Um, I always think it's, this deck is so different than the other ones to me. Because, I mean, she's standing there and, and the book for the Seven of Pentacles talks about assessment, evaluation, reflection, uh, measuring return on investment, harvest rewards, and appraisal. So it could talk about, you know, since this is saying that you deserve love, what's new is maybe you realizing that you, you deserve to be loved, you know. And that will bring, of course, that will bring about abundance from the sun. And it does bring about, you know, an assessment and a reward, you know. Wow, look at me. I do deserve this, you know. More cards for Capricorn. for Capricorn. Ace of Swords. I like this Ace of Swords. It, it's so different, you know. I, I look at the cards so differently with each deck. You know, you can't help but feel certain things. But with this one, you notice the string of butterflies flying around the sword. And to me, it's like saying that you are going to be learning and you will realize the truth and there will be a victory. There is a decision that's going to be made and you're going to know your worth, you know. Your reasoning is coming back. You know, when you don't feel lovable and you, you know, don't think you deserve love, it's very hard to be logical, be reasonable, 
or, you know, feel like there's any form of justice. And the Ace of Swords is saying, you know, as you do this, those all come back. And, you know, sword, the Ace of Swords, it's a beginning, not an ending. See? And so funny. Justice could be dealing with a Libra Capricorn, but justice is about balance. And, and if you notice in this one, it's different because it's not the scales of justice. It's like it's a white tree and a black tree. And she is blowing what looks like leaves that are turning into butterflies and this darkness is going away. So this really does speak to you deserve love, realizing you're lovable, the sun, getting all that abundance and seeing the reality of it, you know, putting in the work to get rid of whatever has made you feel like you didn't deserve love. You know, that's going to be changing. That's why the justice card is here and there will be balance again, you know, realizing that what you do has an effect. And so you, you are beginning to see that. And as I said, with the Ace of Swords, seeing the change. So really, it's just one card after another, I feel, Capricorn Watch, that, that's just going to say the same thing. Ten of Chalices, there you go. All of this leads to the Ten of Chalices, the Ten of Cups. Complete fulfillment, happy family. It just doesn't get better than the Ten of Chalices or the, t or the Sun. You have two of the absolute best cards in the deck. Say, so look at Ten of Cups, family, domestic bliss, optimism, comfort, <laughs> all from realizing your value. Peace, joy, happiness, deep affection, love, blah, blah, blah. It's awesome, Capricorn. It's so funny how your reading went because it, it, it's just a snowball effect of you realizing you're lovable. So we have two angel answer cards for you, Capricorn. What's your first question? Here's your answer. You ready? Yes. I like it. Look at how happy she is. What's your next question, Capricorn? Here's your answer. Look for a sign. So, oh, and that's so funny. As I do this, look what it's pointing to. The Ten of Chalices. Hee <laughs> hee awesome so thank you so much for being here capricorn please don't forget to like share subscribe and well have a wonderful week thank you bye